This is Wretched Radio with Todd Friel. There are two ways to learn. The first way is to examine, to study, to observe somebody who does things right and emulate them. The second way is the Lady Gaga way. This is Wretched Radio. Uh, Let's learn from Lady Gaga, shall we? Because pretty much everything that comes out of her mouth, what you are about to hear, is wrong. But what can we learn from her? Why can we call her wrong? What is the culture thinking these days? She's as good a representative as anyone. But before we get... Before... Before... I'm telling you, the allergies here right now in Georgia, you don't expect it this late in the year. But nevertheless, we are the allergy capital of the world. you got to be known for something besides Coca-Cola. It's almost Halloween, and today is the last day that you can order Biggest Question DVDs and have them at your house in time for Reformation Day. Because the kids are going to be coming to your door, tricking or treating, and you can give them candy, you can turn out the lights, or you could give them candy and the gospel. It's a DVD presentation every year. Thousands of these gets distributed to the kids. Now, here's the benefit of doing this. If you don't like kids coming to your door, trick-or-treating, you must give them the biggest question this year. They won't come back next year. That's kind of observation I've made. Why do we keep getting less kids every, fewer kids every single year? Hmm, it's the kookiest thing. So in other words, you get yourself some Biggest Question DVDs, you're going to be saving money on candy next year. So think of it as good stewardship. The kids are going to go home, watch the gospel with their parents. How nice would that be if those little urchins got saved? You can find out more at wretched.org slash Halloween. I said it. I went ahead and said it. Wretched.org slash Halloween. Get your copies, and you can get them at your house by October 31st. Now, let us learn lessons from Lady Gaga. She put on her suit, her glasses, had her hair smartly combed as she sat with the Dalai Lama to discuss racism and evil in the world. Lessons from Lady Gaga. In times of chaos and, and crisis, what we all tend to do, right, is start pointing fingers at where we think the bad guys are, where the evil is. We all start arguing. Everybody has different opinions about that. And now you're going to hear her opinion about that. <laughs> Please do not forget that hatred or evil, whatever you want to call it. Well, there, there, there's actually a, a bit of a difference. There's an overlap, but there is a difference. Please remember, Lady Gaga, if you do not have a moral source of authority, you might not like something, uh, but that's all it is. It can't be evil. It's simply not your preference. It's intelligent. Huh? It's smart. Who is? Evil? And it's invisible. Ah, evil is intelligent, it's smart, and it's invisible. Well, if she's referring to Satan, she'd be right. Otherwise, evil isn't an entity. It's not a thing. It doesn't reside someplace. It doesn't have an address. It doesn't have a color. It doesn't have a race. It doesn't have a religion. It has no politics. It's an invisible snake that while it is planning to make its attack, it is thinking to itself, I am going to divide my enemy. Okay. So evil, according to Lady Gaga, has a brain. Now, nobody tagged her on this. Most people probably said, oh, yeah, that is brilliant. It makes absolutely no sense. Evil does not exist as a thing. Evil is what we do. It is an action. It, it's, 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 it's not an entity per se, and yet Lady Gaga... Into smaller... Less strong groups, and then I'm going to make them hate each other so that it's easier to take them down. And as we're all yelling at each other, trying to figure out which group it is that's causing the problem, evil's winning Mm. all around us. There, there, There it is, the applause. 
what did she... All right, Tony, you're an expert in evil. What in the world did yeah. she just say there? Do you have any I'm idea? I'm not exactly sure. What's she said words. And they're articulate? Sentences? Stuff. Subjects? Direct objects? They verbs? They to be. Yeah. I but understood all the words. I didn't quite... lot of sense. She ain't We have yet. to get rid of those labels. These different factions, gay, straight, um, rich, poor. Hold on. She hasn't read the Whole food sign, but I digress. Uh, um, mentally ill, not mentally ill. Gun owner, not gun owner. None of this can matter anymore. Well, Lady Gaga, if, if that's the case and I extend your logic, what am I supposed to call you? If we're just one amorphous blob, there's no distinction. Do we even get to have names anymore? We are unified in our humanity. Tower of Babel, anyone? Paging the Tower of Babel. And the only thing that we all know, we all appreciate in one another, is kindness. Okay, hold on a second. What's kindness? I think beating a puppy is kindness. Now, you know that I'm joking, because if I really wanted to be earnest about it, I'd say beating a cat is kindness. But I didn't say that. My point is, what's kindness? What's meanness? What's charity? What's, what's, what's good? What's bad? Lady Gaga defining her own rules. This has to come before all things, and you must operate relentlessly this way. Now, if I recall, we were supposed to stop giving our opinions, and yet I was just told we must not... With everything you have. Oh, okay. Forget about the money. All right. When you talk to the people, go out and talk to the people. Look them in the eye. Speak to them. Mobilize the kids. They're smart. They're Hold smart on. and they believe because they are not yet jaded. They believe the world can change. Okay, these are uh, extra strength pain relief. What do we got here? Oh, these are ibuprofen, 200 milligrams. Hold on, I just need to find some drugs. You can take four of those, I think, every eight hours. You know, you why do I have sleeping pills here? <laughs> Listening to Lady well, Gaga you're playing the audio. is akin to the... Yeah, just play that instead. Let's see. Oh, what do we got here? Okay. Oh, you know what? I think I'm going to take one of these just because I'm telling you, the, aller the allergies here, um, that ought to help real time. Let's see. And finally, why you'd, you'd think that I was making a living, I think that I were, that I were making a living a different way than talking. Well, just listen to some Lady Gaga whilst I take some medication because this Do is giving to? me a headache. Joey, at what point you sort of threw your your hands over your head and we're cringing why we we need to get rid of categories like mentally ill um um not mentally ill gun owners um <laughs> not gun owners like she she hadn't really planned that far ahead well, <laughs> that's pretty much a given i think i think that we can all agree on that let's see some what people she has are to say. very confused yeah well she would now, look, I think we should just sure. end it right there because she's absolutely right about that. Somebody's confused, Lady Gaga. Right because they are living in a state of horror. The media, when we watch the news, right, you don't see all the great things that are happening in the world. You just see the bad things right up close. Me and His Holiness were talking about this. Okay, it's His Holiness and I. I'm sorry. It's reflexive. Earlier. We need to shift the perspective and educate young people yourselves. You have the power. I hope she limbered up before this because she is stretching like a nobody's business. She can pull a muscle just groping. For, I, I, to be kind to them. If you are kind to them and empower them to teach you, you don't have to look far for kindness. Kindness is in the heart of children. <laughs> you could say the children are the are future. future. I believe that. Teach them well and let them lead the way. <laughs> Give them all the they've been inside. Great. Give us a sense of pride to make it easier. 
Let the children's laughter remind us how we used to be. And if by... Sorry. When we're born, we don't yet have that conditioning that happens later when we become jaded and love becomes tough. (laughs) Romans 5, anyone. Born in Adam, a kid will rip off your arm if he could to get that bobble around your wrist. I do believe that was a quote from Paul Washer. Born in sin, totally depraved. You're listening to the ramblings of a woman who is making up anything that she wants, getting applauded and sitting next to and sounding all erudite because she's got on a pair of glasses that probably cost more than most feeding pantries actually have. The ramblings of the world rarely, rarely match scripture. This is Wretched Radio. Shout out to our gospel partners. It is your ongoing monthly support that allows us to do Wretched Radio every single day and provide the broadcast, the entire program, for free to anybody on iTunes, Android, or at our website. Thank you for being a gospel partner. If you enjoy or benefit from Wretched Radio, would you please consider joining those partners so that we can continue to preach the gospel, simply visit wretched.org.